didn't taste half bad. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. And Yettle will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Well, that depends. What's wrong, lovey? Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along. Her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly. I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother. on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Petal. 